Yeah, you keep thinking that, Grunty. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Corecat13, that woman with the deep voice, and had a burp in my throat, and we are back with Banjo-Kazooie. Last time we left off, we cleared out the majority of... Tre not Treasure Trove Cove. Fuck. Bubble Gloop Swamp, and we 100%ed Treasure Trove Cove. So in this episode, we're going to make up for lost time. I'm going to go ahead and go back to previous areas so that we can actually clean them out. One of those areas is actually uh, the second area of the game, Mumbo's Mountain. So let's go ahead and find it. Because apparently my stupid self missed some of the freaking things. The honeycomb pieces. And I feel so dumb that I forgot where they were. Also, the camera was wigging out there. Alrighty. So, welcome to Mumbo's Mountain. Alright, let's go ahead and check up on our thing. Yeah, we didn't grab any of the honeycomb pieces. But now that we have the awesome power of Kazooie's Talentrot, we can make short work. So, I wasn't entirely crazy... However, it wasn't a jiggy that I was thinking of. It was actually a honeycomb piece. Which happens to be right over there. I also fell because I'm stupid. I miss this music. This music's so silly. Alrighty. There we go. Alright, camera. Work with me. Alright, there's Ferdinand over there. Now I have a name for him. Dude! I'm going to be out of your way in just a second. Let me... Ah, crap. That's too steep for Kazooie to climb, so... I'm going to have to jump down from below, or from above. Alrighty. Oh, man. That was too far to the left. Oh, mercy. Alrighty. Uh, locate where my hole is. If the camera would cooperate, that'd be even better. There it is, right there. And there we go. And now we have sunny. We have seven honeycombs. All right. That, my friends, is how it's done. I can't believe I forgot that. I knew that there was something I was forgetting inside of those areas, but I didn't know what it was. I thought it was a jiggy. But apparently, no. It was a freaking honeycomb piece. Excuse me, Ferdinand. I don't have business with you. I don't know why you want me dead. Alright, let's climb on up here and pay Mumbo a visit. How you doing? That is not where Mumbo is. That's where Mumbo is. Don't mind the ticks, or whatever those are. Termites, that's what they were. Yeah, I can't believe I forgot this, too. How did I forget the fact that the, um... Alright, we gotta make sure that we don't get rid of too many of these. There we go. As long as we have one of them stationary. We can grab that honeycomb piece. I'm pretty sure I saw it while I was editing. And it's like one of the first ones that you can get and I missed it. Well, what do you expect? I'm doing this blind. But now, we have the start of another honeycomb piece. Hooray! Alright. Now that's that here in Mumbo's Mountain, so we can actually backtrack and we can... go back to Spiral Mountain, and we can locate the one that we missed there, because we only got five of them. And there are six of them in Spiral Mountain, so... we're technically supposed to have... well, we actually do have the right number of honeycomb pieces... 
no, not honeycomb bees. We have the right number of honeycombs, but we don't have the correct number of honeycomb pieces because there are six of them. All right, so we hit that. And as you can tell, there are six of them. I missed one somewhere. Now, I don't recall exactly where all I went to, but... Thank God I land in the water. Alrighty. There's an onion there. We don't really want to deal with him. But I'll do it anyway. Because it's fun. Alrighty, so... Camera! Thank you. Alrighty. Alright, get rid of that thing. My guess is that it's probably over here somewhere. I either already got it, or I just completely bypassed it. Well, there's that extra life. Never gets an extra life. I must have already gotten that one, then. Oh, man. Never get enough Spiral Mountain. This music's so good. Alright. So I don't know where it is. We got the one in the tree. We got the one underwater. Like I said, I'm just ruling out everything that we possibly could have dealt with. Right. Press A to jump and press A again for a double jump. Alright, so that's this is just the tutorial for how to jump, so. Hmm. I'm guessing we need to go and find the cobby wobble that's flying around. Because we have forgotten something, so there are these things. Alright, let's talk to this guy. Hold Z then B to use the B barge. Yep, there we go. Destroy that thing. That thing. And there we go. Alright, so that didn't yield anything. Oh, there's... How'd that thing show up? Oh! That's the one that we forgot! I guess I never visited that location. Or if I visited that location, I completely forgot about it. And didn't kill everything. But then again, who the hell is supposed to guess that you're supposed to do that? That's just so dumb. Alrighty. I'm trying to remember if we got all the ones in Bubble Gloop Swamp. I think we did? Yeah, I think we got all the ones in Bubble Gloop Swamp. I think we got all the ones in um, Clanker's Cavern, so yeah, that pretty much cleans it out. So I guess I'll meet you back where the um, the Grunty Switch was triggered, so yeah. Back into our mouth. Does that mean that, that thing's our tongue? I don't want to know. Okay, we are back. Alrighty, and we should now have enough of those music notes. Get out of my way, Grundle. To um, unlock this door. Oh yeah, we have more than enough. Now do a dance. Yeah. Alright. Now we have access to this area. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, well, this looks different. Oh man, we're getting some lag here. Oh, I see a mumbo token. Ega bogum. Alrighty. Well, we found another world. At least we know where that is now. 
That's World 6, by the way, Gobi's Valley, but that's not where we're supposed to go. Where we're supposed to go is, um... We're supposed to go into World 5, which is, um, Freeze Easy Peak. So, anyway... All right, so that got summoned. And notice that we have some stronger enemies now hanging out here, such as that guy. Yeah, the blue-robed Grundles are a lot stronger than their other counterparts, so... Boing! <laughs> All righty, now hop on through here and we got the Jiggy. Alrighty. Five out of the ten Jiggies that you can get here in Grunty's Lair. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I would like my health back. Bleh, my health back, please. Man, my stuttering is getting bad. I think it really does come down to the fact that I talk too fast. But it's just like, I want to... Be sure I keep up with the action, but I don't know. Yeah, the frame rate is definitely lower in this area. It's kind of annoying, but... Ah, well, what can you do? Oh, what the hell is this? Hmm, can't do anything with that. Alrighty, we got the mouth door. And yeah, things are starting to ramp up. As you can see, those bees there are now guarding the um, the honey places. So, anyway. Since we have 364, we might as well unlock that door. Let's go on in. Alrighty. Ooh, this place is intimidating. I like it. I think this is the, where, this is the place where you unlock Mad Monster Mansion, but... Anyway... Oh, no, this is where you unlock Gobi's Valley. Well, shit, we could actually go to Gobi's Valley now. How about that? Yeah, it's just right outside, so there you go. Gobi's Valley. Hmm, part of me wants to go to Gobi's Valley. Just simply because... Well, I just want that uh, runner power up. Let's go through here. What's in here? I want to know. Well, this is the entrance to Mad Monster Mansion. Ooh, I like this place. This place is spooky. I totally sleep here. Alrighty. I don't know what the fuck she said, but I don't care. There's some bees there. Don't want to bother them. And you get a more sinister version of the uh, Grunty's Lair theme, which is pretty cool. I like this. There's right, not really a whole lot for us to do here. At least not at the moment, but just keep this in mind, because that's World 7, so... Yeah, so you can just walk on into World 7 if you wanted to. Kind of appropriate that it's like in an inferno, so... Oh god! Ooh. Sorry about that, guys. Whew. Whew. This is gonna be a bit tricky, methinks. This is a narrow platform, and this is an N64 game, so they're not exactly known for their precision. What's over there? Oh, that's just the entrance. All right. Just gotta inch my way across. This is a really neat location, by the way. And this is further proof that, yes, this is indeed a mountain of some denomination. Anyway. Keep crawling, keep crawling. Gotta be careful, gotta be careful. And there we go. All right, and that little hole right there, that's a Cheeto location, so don't forget it. Hello, Brintilda, how are you? 
Revolting Gruntilda's bedroom has a rotting fish hanging from the ceiling. Ow. That is disgusting. She also has a loogie bush growing in a pot out beside her bed, filthy old bag. Ugh. And you'd be sick if you saw her enormous spotty purple undies. Hey, purple's awesome. Although I would not want to look at Gruntilda's underwear, so... There is that. Alrighty. Seems the strategy for these kind of platforms is just kind of tiptoeing. Taking a massive dump on the toilet in the sky. You do do gotta take the dump tonight. God, this this part right here reminds me of freaking Tiny Huge Island Super Mario 64. Just nerve-wracking. But we can jump now, so... This platform right here is a lot larger, so we can just run at full speed. If you actually stand right here, you'll actually get the theme for Gobi's Valley, so... Pretty cool. But, you know, if you're just kind of running around, it changes back to the normal theme, so. Anyway. We have the entrance to Mad Monster Mansion, which is really nice. Oh, man. We have decisions now. We can either go to Gobi's Valley and pick up the speed shoes, or we can go into Freeze Easy Peak and grab the Big Bomb. I say we go in here. And for the record, um, up here, the entrance to Freeze Easy Peak is an advent calendar, which I found out through, you know, other means. There's some feathers right there, which this level, in the next level, you are going to be using your flight power quite often, so, yeah. Particularly this stage, because, yeah, you get to have flight combat. Yay. Jump up here, grab yourself a mumbo token. Ego bulgum. You know, if she hates Banjo and Kazooie so much, why the hell does she have an advent calendar with her faces on it? I don't understand that. Anyway, pop on in here. And welcome to Freeze Easy Peak. No, oh, gee, you don't say. Alrighty, so Freeze Easy Peak. This area is where things once again start ramping up a bit, so. Yeah. I'm a little bit intimidated by Freeze Easy Peak, but anyway. It's a very pretty song. One of my personal favorites in the game, but we need to walk in here, and we're going to get one of our missions. Which happens to be First World Problems. Alright, so they want presents, which we can go and provide because we're the good Samaritans that we are, so. Climb on down here. And that's unfortunate. Looks like he got drunk. That's, uh, yeah, that's something. Alright, I want that freaking thing, man. Give me that. Now I can fall. Alright. And now we got kind of a more open world yet again, which is really nice. So. Yeah, I should mention, you're not going to be beating Freeze Easy Peak in your first... Um, attempt. Because you have a move that you have to pick up in Gobi's Valley before you can beat Freeze Easy Peak. Which is pretty damn stupid if you ask me, but what do I know? Anyway, we're gonna walk around the snowman. And we find an Ikabogum. And yeah, you see those fucking assholes throwing snowballs at you. Those are Mr. Slushes. Or Sir Slushes, whatever they are. I don't care. 
They're assholes. They're the primary enemy in this area, and the only way you can beat them is by smacking them in the red X that they so proudly wear on their hats. I guess they're so confident in their abilities that they figure that they might as well even put it there. But anyway, here's present number one. Um, present number two. Uh oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. Let's climb on up. And we're getting introduced to another new enemy. These are the ice blocks. They can be beaten up by um, the Rattle Rap Tap, and they award you with one each. And notice that there are no bees protecting the um, honey hive here. I guess it's too damn cold for freaking bees to be here, so... Yeah. Anyway. We're gonna climb. We're gonna take you for a ride. On my big green tractor. I don't know. I was trying to think of a song, and that was the first thing that came to my mind. Oh, yeah. I love that part of the song. It goes da 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 and yes, you see a Jinjo over there. But anyway. You actually need to wander very carefully. Jump here. And we get our first Jiggy. Yay! We get our first Jiggy. Alrighty. Now we gotta be real careful because one bad fall and we're dead. So. Let me bounce on up here. And you get present. Ooh. Ooh. I am so sorry, guys. Anyway, we got present number two, which is really nice. Present number three should be somewhere around here. If I can remember where it is. Because I watched the uh, Blind Lukagen playthrough of uh, Freeze Easy Peak, so... That's partially how I know where half this stuff is, because Lukagen took her sweet time and started exploring. But anyway, right over there is where you're going to be getting your mumbo power-up of the day, which is a walrus who can survive in the freezing water. Which, by the way, no, you do not want to get in the water. If you get in the water, you start freezing, and it does a lot of damage. So, yeah, anyway. Um, finally got me. I don't know why you're targeting me, dude. I did nothing to you. Alright. Oh, hello. I knew this area was important. We got a Jinjo. So happy. Alrighty. Well, it was worth something anyway. Alright. Gotta watch out for those snowballs that these ass munches are trying to fire at me. Mmm. <clears throat> There we go. Time to take flight. Oh, okay. There was a thingamajig there. How about that? Alright, you're not going to get me, dude. So let's go on and fly to the top of this area. Because I do not want to bother, you know, climbing. Because I'm pretty sure there's something else up here. I mean, I know that there is a Jinjo over here somewhere. Yep, there he is. Jinjo! So happy. Alrighty. Kazooie! I swear that's what she's saying. She's saying Kazooie, and you can't convince me otherwise. Alrighty, let's try this again. I feel a little bit better now that I've actually collected the um, thingamabobs. Ooh. 
Oh, what? Oh, you fucking bastard. Alright. That's nice. I don't give a shit. Bottles. Alright. Well, that was embarrassing. Yeah, well. I guess we had to die at some point. Let's see here. That's the teleporter pad. Alright, there's the, uh... There's the dude. You can just sit there and think about your life. Pretty sure that there was something to his... Um... To his right. Excuse me! Fuck you. Stupid fucking assholes. Let's see. Just feathers. Nothing important. Okay. I just wanted to be sure. Kind of reminds me of this uh, level I was playing in uh, MacBat uh, 64. Which, by the way, it's not a great game. But, you know, it's a fun little 3D platformer that is, you know, not very hard, but... You know, not all games need to be, like, super hard or whatever, but this game was, like, ridiculously simple. Like, redonkulously simple. Wait a minute! You could actually destroy that thing using the rat wrap tap? Huh, good to know. Alrighty. Since I died, by the way, your presence reset, so... Yeah. Anyway, there's a walrus. Hello. That looks a fierce bear. I like that he's scared of Banjo, who is, like, the least intimidating bear I've seen since Winnie the Pooh. It's kind of ridiculous. Anyway, you're not going to get me, dude. Alrighty. Oh, crap. Ooh. I just wanted the Jinjo. I'm sorry. Alright, let's walk on over here. And you got a new move for us, Bottles. Tell us about it. Time for some aerial action with my devastating bait bomb attack. Nice one, Goggles. When you're flying, press B to launch Kazooie at a target. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to using this. Alright, thank you very much. Alrighty, that's one of the last moves that you're going to be learning in this game. And trust me, this game really likes using the beak bomb. So, yeah, get used to using it. Yeah, but now that we have this power, we can actually um, deal with Gobi's Valley because a few of those things actually require you to use the beak bomb. So, it actually was advantageous that we go to World 5. Fucking hate these things. Alrighty. Well, let's let's go ahead and fucking get rid of this thing. Alright. Alright, you're not gonna get me, dude. Alrighty, let's try to line up. Bam! Alrighty, so that's the big bomb. You press the B button while you're flying, and you can target things that have a little red X on them, or, or just red in general. Anyway. Ugh! Yeah! Feel that pain, snowman. Alrighty. I'm surprised she doesn't say anything about that. Kazooie, I mean. Let's see here. I have to kind of target this correctly. Ugh. Alrighty, and he literally shits a jiggy. How about that? And now they're transparent. Huzzah! Oh, damn! How did I not take damage there? I mean, I'm not arguing either, but I'm just like... How did I not take damage there? Oh, well. Maybe I was low enough to the ground that it didn't count. So let's collect snowman shit. Yeah. 
Yo-ho! Uh -huh. So happy. Alrighty. Well, that was the thing. We got that one. Now we gotta figure out what we're gonna be doing next. Uh, my recording is a little far on time. We're at 31 minutes right now, but... There are some things I can edit out, so... Anyway, let's go ahead and grab the prez. And now, we can continue on this way. It's gonna be painful. Ooh, yeah. That hurt. Let's go ahead and run on in here to Mumbo's place. And it requires 15. However, before you go ahead and turn yourself into a walrus... I hear you, Jinjo. So happy. Alright. Got ourselves a Jinjo. Run on up here and you grab some notes. Now then, transform me! Walrus! I'm beautiful. You're an asshole. Alrighty. Look at us. We're a walrus. Okay, so the B button. Does nothing. Lovely. Alrighty. Grab us a feather. And now we can just kind of wander underwater as we wish. Now, it doesn't mean you're immune to the stupid snowballs. It just means that you can wander underwater without needing to take damage. So, very nice. Figure I might as well grab some notes while I'm at it. Because, you know, I'm a beautiful walrus. I like walruses. I think they're cool. I don't know why. They're just so big and blubbery and goofy looking. Plus, it reminds me of Mythbusters, because that was the nickname of Jamie Heineman. He was the walrus. Alright, now I gotta remember where the um, big walrus was. If I recall, he is this direction. And those ass munches are trying to throw snowballs at me. I don't know what you think is so funny, bastard, but I don't think it's that funny. Alrighty. And then this is location of more music notes. Not against it, not against it. See, I found him not long ago, so I don't know why I'm forgetting where he is. Alright, so that's just feathers. We don't really need that. Oh, I'm a funny bastard. <laughs> now, I saw something clip. It was over there. Is there anything on this side? There you I know you get a honeycomb from one of them. I think you also have to destroy these things in order to get a Jiggy, so that's something we got to keep in mind. I'm not looking forward to that. Oh no, that just leads us up here to the snowman's head. So actually, we need to go this way. If the camera would cooperate, that would be lovely. Don't fucking do that, camera. Well, at the very least... Us being a walrus, we can just, um, cling on to things. Hello! Can you give me a jiggy, sir? Whoa, another walrus! Take this! But watch out for a smelly bear! And his ugly- Oh, wow! People are assholes. Alrighty, there's number three. What's going on inside? Because I'm sure Banjo is cold. I mean, he's a walrus, so, I don't know. How you doing? Why, hello again. How you doing? I just want some feathers. Since I'm a walrus, we can now go in here. 
slide on in here. I'm trying to remember if there's a Cheeto in here. Oh, it's a honeycomb piece. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you. Oh, fuck you, asshole. Oh, man. Can't get me. I'm hiding. Alrighty. Now I gotta look around and make sure that I'm not missing a Jinjo, because... I could have swore there was a Jinjo in here. Alrighty. I guess not. But, yeah. Finally got a honeycomb piece. That's nice. We're not too far away from leveling up our health, either. Oh, there he is. There's the Jinjo. I knew that there was a Jinjo in here. I just didn't know where he was. But we can't grab him because we're a walrus, so... It's unfortunate, but... What can you do? What will you do for a Klondike bar? Alrighty, I think I'll let this episode run a little long because, I don't know, I don't feel like we've done much this episode. Plus, again, I have to cut out a lot of stuff, so... Uh, I think we'll get one more Jiggy. And then we'll have to call it an episode. So, let's go ahead and grab some of these. And I wonder if these things are laughing at me because I'm a walrus. In which case, I think these things are racist. How dare you be racist against a walrus? What do you have against walruses, huh? Walruses are cool. You're snowman. You're snowman. And snowmen are lame. They melt. I'm a walrus. I don't melt. Alrighty. Let's see here. Really hate when the camera automatically changes the camera angle. That is super annoying. It's like the camera gets confused and is like, uh, I think this is where you are. Alrighty, there we go. Yes, I'm gonna make you suffer. Gwahahaha. I'm a walrus and I will make you suffer by watching me move. Very, very slowly. Oh, I see what they did. Because the jiggy, or the music notes are kind of a goldish color, they put them on the yellow and the feathers are on the red. I see what they did there. Ugh, God. Fucking elbow. My elbow is not very happy right now. It's telling me, please stop. But I can't stop because, well, I'm here. Also, I saw my Jinjo. I wonder what's on top of this guy. I legitimately don't know. Because it's been a little bit since I watched that Let's Play, so... I don't recall. Alrighty. Hop aboard. What? What do you mean I can't freaking do this as a walrus? Wee! Well, guess I can't do it as a walrus, so there goes that plan. Alrighty. Wait, can I? Oh. Well, fooey. That's just sad. I thought I could actually grab something as a walrus. Because, you know, the walrus is the best form to be in, don't you know? Sorry, I had to listen to that a little bit. That was beautiful. Oh god, another cube! Alright. Man, we are running low on health. And we're at 40 minutes now, so... I'm sorry we didn't get a whole lot more done this episode, but next time we're going to be back as the Baron Bird, and we're going to continue here in Freeze Easy Peak. So, I've been Cat 13 and I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Bye!